at second day in Sarajevo. When we got to the apartment yesterday, we just did not have motivation to do anything. We're energized today. We had a great rest. We're gonna try to hit up some rooftops, get a nice overview of the city. And after that, we're going to try to get to the top of one of the surrounding mountains. Take it easy and explore. I don't think I'm suspicious. No, no, no. So after we do roofs, we think thinking either getting on the top of that mountain or taking a bus about one hour that way to the mountains far in the distance with the snowy peaks, 2,000 kilometers elevated. Should be pretty cool, so we'll see. Don't want to hang around here too much. It's pretty exposed, like anybody looking out the window basically gets it. We'll run the next one. So Poison actually wants to go to the mountain earlier after this roof. I'm gonna stay in the city, do some more roofs, meet up with Poison in like a couple of hours closer to the evening. Really hope this has a way up. Seems like a great roof. Oh, great. That building right there is the one we were just on. Fun fact. Okay, big change of plans. I met back up with Poison. Turns out we already missed the last bus to the snowy mountain an hour away from Sarajevo. So we're gonna go to plan B, this mountain right nearby the city. And uh, yeah. Should be uh, pretty cool. Alright, made it to the top. We're going to try to go to this abandoned Olympic game bobsled track. Get a bit to a clearing, get past these trees, get a nice overview of the city. We're higher than any zone. Can take us. So, here is the abandoned bobsled track. All right, you can see a bit of a view through the trees, but I hope we're gonna find a clearing a bit further because I don't just want to go to the touristy spot. That's boring. All right, let's see where this leads. So, 
googled a bit and found out these bobsleds actually lead to these abandoned tower type structures. Hopefully we can climb them, get a nice overview if it's a clearing. Oh, damn. Wow. Yeah, we're not done. There's a building on the top, then I gotta be on the top of the building. According to the sign, this was an observatory and then they shot it up, blew it up, fucked it up and now it's a beautiful climbing piece. Perfect. scenic route down, get to the city, land the next part of our journey. We're going to try to surf the final stretch tomorrow. So yeah, basically it. That bench and that sunset and even the kitty cam. It's so calming. It's so safe. We're just gonna grab some tea, get back to the apartment. Tomorrow should be pretty straightforward. Wait at the end of the yard, hop on a passing train and basically head towards the sea. But for now, it looks like it's going to be a chill evening. Good morning. We are heading to the yard right now. We got all of our supplies ready. Do not know how often trains ride by here. Check it out, see what the vibe is, find a waiting spot and hopefully get a train. So that's the yard. It is a freight station, so we're thinking of not really hanging around there. We're just gonna chill somewhere here near the bridge. See when a train passes by, if it's driving slow enough to hop on. That's the plan. Day. We don't want to really serve this final stretch in the night because it is the most beautiful one But we're afraid that freight trains only go through this path in the night because literally only the locomotives went during the day And there was only two of them in these past like what? 
eight, nine hours. There is literally no point in moving a station forward. If they're not gonna come here, they're not gonna go there. Train gods were really not in our favor today. In Amarskin, the first station we tried catching from, we did not catch any, but trains going weren't the problem. There were too many workers in the station. Spent the entire day under this bridge, man. Really feel like a troll. Really sucks, just wasting a lot of energy and a lot of brain power. It really takes a lot just to stay in one place for like nine hours. stuck in Sarajevo and fuck the trains, waste of time. Came to this beautiful country and I'm not gonna spend another day waiting under a bridge for nothing. I'm alone, Poison had to leave earlier for personal reasons. I'm gonna progress, just... I'm gonna do it on my own terms. boys but a bike finally gotta take control i'm hyped I'm gonna get on and go explain what i'm doing along the way oh yeah that patreon money keeps me moving oh boy this feels good so the plan is to ride past the Dineric alps i'm going to be heading towards mostar it is going to be about 100 kilometers the rain is going to be beautiful it is not going to be easy but i'm hyped as fuck to take things into my own hands basically i'm going to be heading up those mountains right there in the distance i've never been on this long of a bike ride the most i biked was probably like 50 kilometers or some shit and that wasn't with a 10 kilo backpack so back two in motion baby i got about six kilometers till i'm out of the city and then i start the climb so everybody advised me against going to the mountains this time of year. The weather's been very fucky. It's basically raining down here, so it's gonna be snowing out there. I'm afraid I'm gonna encounter a lot of resistance at the top, mainly due to a shit ton of snow. Got everything I need in my backpack, so even if my bike breaks down, I can hike. Yeah, everything was so last minute, spontaneous as always. This is a very convoluted journey, but oh boy, is it a great challenge. Went to this bike shop, I got this route from him, said do it at your own risk. Like that two kilometer vertical shit in the distance. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do like 60 kilometers today. I really don't want to sleep on top of the mountains because it's gonna get real cold there. I'm kind of ill-equipped for negative temperatures. All right, almost out of the city. Okay, I can actually kind of see the mountain path. It's a bit zigzaggy. Now is when all the fucking is gonna start. Look at that shit. Yeah, well, as you can tell from my first amount of profanity is that I'm a tiny bit intimidated. Train surfing's chill, you just hop on the bitch and let it rip. I'm intimidated, but I'm excited. I really want to do this. Here we go. The climb begins. Connecting to the gravel road. Things starting to get a bit more interesting. Regarding this bike, by the way, at first I was thinking about cheapening out a bit, but then I looked at the photos and realized I actually want to enjoy the damn ride, so it should do me well for at least 100 kilometers onwards. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Halfway up the zigzaggy part. After that, I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna be ascending. It is snowing a tiny bit already. So today and tomorrow, it should be the best weather. Day afterwards, it's gonna be rainy slash snowy. Days after, but tonight I'm gonna be spending the night, I'm pretty sure, somewhere at the mountain. I'm a bit dreading and also gonna take a quick break and uh, keep on going. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh, I agree. So beautiful.
guiding signs. Bab and Da is the town near the first peak, Bialashnitsa, and I got about 25 kilos till that. Ilija, the edge of Sarajevo, it's 7 kilos that way, so that's basically how much I biked. So the sun's not really that motivated to come out fully, and it is getting colder as I climb, but as I'm biking, the temperature is going to be balanced out for me. I feel like once I do reach to the equalization point in the road and when it starts going down, I'll be so sick. Water. I assume it's drinkable. These are stables. Would be great for sleeping. Will protect me a bit more from the wind than the hammock would. Ah, snow is starting to cover the road quite a bit here. I guess that's what they meant by snow being a problem. I assume further along there's going to be more and more of this. It does look really cool though. Seeing some guide signs. Let's see my progress. Bob and Doe, 16 kilometers, and I biked, uh, I see like 15. So I'm halfway to the halfway to the halfway. <laughs> but now it is three and it started climbing at 12. I've definitely overestimated a bit how much I can bike today. I assume though it is going to not be as steep further on. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like climate change from spring to winter. It is a bit colder, but since I'm moving, I'm not really feeling it that much. There's a proper uh, lodge here or something. Oh wow, that looks beautiful. Well, the snow's really started to come down. It's cool, it's really beautiful though. Hope I reach Bob and Dog by the evening. If there's a bigger snowstorm, I really don't want to look for shelter in the night. Ah, oh, this downhill is insane. What the hell? This is nice. Now we're making some damn progress, not fucking two kilometers per hour. This just feels too good. Let's see. Okay, so I did three since the last guide sign. Not bad. God damn, did I underestimate this place. But I got 10 kilometers till the first town. Pretty sure I'll make it today. Doing it. I'm doing it. I have no clue what altitude I'm at. When I looked through the trees last time, the city was quite a bit way down. So, all right, I'm gonna continue biking. This just keeps going down. Hell yeah. It's finally opening up a bit. All right, crossroads. Right, so I go here. I assume this is gonna be a downhill section and then I'm gonna have to climb all the way up here next to the street to the town. Sweet. Let's go, boys. I can see there between the trees, such a beautiful landscape. It's the huge mountain and fog. I guess that's where I'm gonna bike probably tomorrow or something. <laughs> hey, paved road, baby. to go forward. Olympics 1984 abandoned hotel. Hmm. Let's check the abandoned hotel.
The hotel should be just around the corner. All right, it looks pretty interesting. I still don't see the town, should be a bit more that way. I do see the cable car lines, cable cars start at the town, so I'm not that far. Smooth sailing from here until the town. From there, improvise, we'll see. All right, here it is. Cozy little town. So, we're gonna find a bit of a flatter area out of town, start a fire, warm up some food, warm myself up, camp for the night. All right, I'm backtracking a bit because here I actually saw a flat-ish area. I'm walking on a layer of snow here, not the forest floor, so it's gonna be interesting how I'm gonna start a fire on this. Okay, I think this is far enough away. So, last time I checked the weather, in that town, it is not going to go below zero. It's basically going to be around two. I don't really see the trees dripping or the snow being that sticky or my water properly moving. So, I assume it is minus degrees right now. I'm gonna try to start a fire, trusting that it's not gonna go further than like minus four or something because I can handle that. Anything below, I'm in real trouble. But if that happens, I will just pack up and start heading into town in the middle of the night. Basically it. The ground is just snow. It's just frozen snow. So I'm gonna have to set up a bit of a wooden platform here to put my tinder on. I dragged a couple of these. I'm gonna of course get more. So for tinder, for a starter, I'm gonna use this. I got a lighter. I found this just in the trash. And also this dead tree bark, specifically these parts. They're very thin and they're pretty dry. So they should light up pretty quick. There's plenty of it now. Just gonna start gathering stuff and hopefully I'll be able to light it. I'm pretty confident I can stay here tonight. I'm gonna warm up right before the sleep. I'm gonna warm some food. I'm not gonna keep it burning all night. Don't wanna give away my position from some cars driving by. The only thing that's left is to set up the hammock, warm the food. Everything set up, standard setup inside. Fire actually became a fire pit. It's burning slightly, but it is still burning. You see how much it melted in? Hard for these sticks to burn because they're so wet. It's gonna be enough to warm my food here, and that's basically all I wanted. While my animal food is sizzling, I was thinking a bit whether day after tomorrow is gonna be really shit in Sarajevo. If it's gonna be shit there, it's gonna be terrible here. I really need to get off these mountains tomorrow, basically. The goal would be about 30, 40 more kilometers to a town called Konyets. And in that town, see if I can continue further. Today I would say I did like 30 kilometers. That fucking climb killed me. I underestimated these mountain paths, really. So yeah. We'll just see what I can do tomorrow, basically. Goal would be to get to Konyets tomorrow. It's food time. 
Let's see what we got here. So much better warm. I'm gonna eat this shit, get into the hammock. This is not gonna be a fun one. It's probably gonna go to minus five. Hopefully that's gonna be the limit. I mean, numbers are really my enemy. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to rest. I doubt I'm gonna be able to sleep that much, but my legs are really tired. In general, I'm really tired. Right now it is nine, so it's gonna be quite a while till the sun comes up, but hopefully I can just, with some patience, with maybe some exercising, get some rest. All right. Talk to you in the morning. <laughs> Good night.